Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ramona Queen B here back with another video for you guys. And to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining the fam. Just a quick reminder, I'm aiming to try and get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't subscribed already, please don't forget to smash that subscribe bell and turn on that notification for weekly uploads. And to all my regular viewers, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my channel focuses on lifestyle, luxury, travel and a bit of vlogs here and there. So if these are the things that interest you, please, again, don't forget to smash that red subscribe button and join the community. So in today's video, I will be doing a bag review. So I did an unboxing of this bag, I think back in March, April this year. It is the Jimmy Choo Bond Bond bag. And um, the person that put me onto this bag, as I said in that unboxing, was Tamara. And when I saw the bag, instant heart flutters. So I had to get it. So... Um, it will be this gorgeous gold liquefied bag which is perfect for the season so I'll go through in detail this bag what I've worn it with what I've done with it and pretty much give you the ins and outs so this might be on your Christmas wish list. Um, so yeah, um, just a bag review. And also because someone jumped in the comment asking how the bag was holding up. So I said, okay, let me do a review on it. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay guys, I'm looking very autumnal today because I went out for brunch earlier today. And trust me, this weather is so deceiving. I thought it was gonna be cold, it was hot. Um, but I really like my fit, so I'll insert a photo here so you guys can see, because I look slept. But anyway, <laughs> I just said, you know what, let me do this video because I've been procrastinating about this video for a while. So we're gonna make it short, quick, and sweet. And as I said before, this is the Jimmy Choo Bon Bon bag. So it is basically a mini bucket bag. So it is in the liquid gold. Um, it came in two varieties, this version, which is the liquid gold and a silver. So I was very dis you know, contemplating which one I wanted, but I ended up going for the silver, I mean, ended up going for the gold because I felt like this would just go with majority of the jewelry that I have. Although if I could, I would have gotten them both. But anyway, um, so this is a bag. Um, it comes with an O-ring at the top of it so you can hold it like this, which is how I wear it majority of the time. It also comes with internal straps that are not removable or adjustable. So this is the length of the strap. Let me turn it this way, you guys can see. I am five foot seven, and when I wear it on my shoulder, let me stand up and show you, it hits about there. So when I wear it on my shoulder, it hits just at pretty much my waist, hip waist section, which I think is very, trying to tiptoe, a very good length for a bag. Me personally, I can't cross body this bag due to the fact that it just, literally so tight they're just well i could but it's like no sorry oh see what i do for you guys <laughs> but yeah for me it's not a crossbody bag but if you're petite it might can work for you but for me majority of the time i well to be fair every single time i've worn it this is how I wear it. Mainly when I'm going out for dinners or functions or events, I think it's just a good pop of liquid gold color. And it's a bag that I always get um, questioned about, like what's that, da da da. And it's, it's likable. So, as I said, it's a bucket style bag. It has a drawstring closure here. That has a Jimmy Choo um, on the button there. You just squeeze it in and pull it forward and it opens the bag. I put contents within the bag that I'm going to go through with you to show you guys what fits in the bag. But inside is literally just like a um, silk lining with a Jimmy Choo plaque on the back. It's are completely, like there's no pockets. It's just literally a pit hole. So I'll throw everything out quickly in my lap. Okay, so now this is the empty bag on the inside. Um, I probably do need to try and get a liner for it to protect the suede um, inside, but majority of the time when I do carry it, I put all the stuff in a little pouch. I've just dropped everything in just to show you now, but this is that opening of the bag. That's as wide as it will get, by the way. I think that's as wide as it will get, yeah. Yeah, that's as wide as it will get. I've had no creasing at the top 
off the bag uh, off the bag majority of the time i leave it open like this and stuff so it doesn't stay scrunched um because i feel like that's just going to be prone to more creasing so i literally just leave the bag like this stuff the bottom and just leave it open so that um it limits the creasing in terms of the outerwear of it um you literally just wipe it down is you can get fingerprint marks quite easily on it um what i do like about it is very easy to clean you literally just wipe it down i normally do it with a damp cloth first and then a dry cloth after and that's pretty much it so okay guys so i'm just gonna go through what actually fits in the bag so you guys can see the capacity of the bag and we will roll like that so i've got the items in my lap and i'm just gonna slide them in so Firstly, I think in the last video, as I said, your phone can fit in, um, but you can still see at the top of the bag once you put the phone in. So, but it fits, so that is great. Um, my key clay from Louis Vuitton. Um, my MAC lipstick tour, all time favorite. Um, this little perfume, not much left. This is C by Giorgio Armani. Um, Carmax don't go anywhere without it um my compact powder from charlotte tilbury i think i use number four or used to be number three but it's now number four um my compact little brush from terry and another lipstick from anastasia beverly hills this is in spicy it's like an orangey kind of tint which i like to mix with the tort to give this color and a brown lip liner that is everything that fits in the bag and as you can see there's more room to fit more stuff you could probably fit like a slim glasses in there just down the side um what else would i bring if i'm going out that's pretty much it but majority of the time when i do go out i bring all those compact powder and everything in a little satchel it's just dirty at the moment so i couldn't show you guys so that if it does spill it will spill in that catch-all instead of the bag um but everything else the um key clay the phone and oh yeah just my keys that's it keys can go right on top and we close that up can't do it one hand hence why So as I said, the only thing that you will see from the top is the phone. But to be fair, majority of the time that I have brought this back, I have my phone in my hand. So it doesn't distort the shape or anything. If I push the phone down, the back of the bag will sink a little bit. Now, because the phone is at the top of the bag, you won't really get the bag completely shut. But in terms of everything that fit in, it's not super, super heavy. It's still very, quite light to me anyway and is very durable most of the time i carry it handheld like this or i put it on my arm and wear it like that many more hand, handheld bags so just walk with it like this um half the time to be honest i do have my phone in my hand so let's just pop that out and then when you do pop that out you can seal the bag in a little bit tighter like you can close it a little bit more what i would say most of the time when i am carrying all my little makeup essential they're in a little pouch because of the opening in the bag if you leave them standing up horizontally if your bag spill over the there might be a potential of them falling out luckily it's not falling out now but if it's literally standing straight up and your bag gets knocked over it could fall out so i would suggest putting those things in a capsule but i really should get an organizer for this i just don't think i've seen one for this bag but i'll look into it um apart from this i just love the compliments i receive when i've worn this bag out i think it's really cute um it's definitely a showstopper i can see people looking at me looking at it um which is nice and it's just something a little bit different it's not the norm it's not something that you go out and see everybody with and i think that's what drew me to it in the first place and i just feel it's so gorgeous so i have a christmas party coming up which i'll be wearing this bag too and i just cannot wait um but yeah definitely still a favorite still a bag i carry out a lot of time absolutely love it and um definitely something that I will continue to wear and it's definitely more on the affordable end of luxury i think at the time when i bought this bag which was in february of this year it was 695 pound 
and I think because at the time they were sold out and I got the one off display that was still in immaculate con condition because I think they told me that they took it out like a day ago to put it on display so it hasn't it hadn't been out long i got a 10 percent discount from that as well so um I very was very happy with that so i think it brought it down to like 650 or 640 something which was still nice now the bag is still expensive for what it is i understand that but in comparison to all the other bags <laughs> it's definitely on the more affordable side so um definitely a win-win and um i hope you guys like this review and what else do i need to show you as i said the back is still back in um all the sides are still the same the handle is still the same normally just stick the strap on the inside and that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed my review of this bag if i did miss out anything please let me know um because i didn't i couldn't think of anything else to, to, to say hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next one bye for now